Let's take a closer look at how Gradient Descent Through Icon enables a robot to adaptively sequence behaviors to accomplish a task. Here, the robot needs to open a drawer using only an in-hand RGB camera, a force torque sensor, and proprioception. Let's first take a look at the components involved. In yellow, we see the sensors and actuators. In blue, we represent the network of recursive estimators, interconnected by active interconnections, shown in green. These estimators capture key states. The end effector pose, the drawer's position, their distance, the drawer's kinematic joint parameters, the likelihood of a drawer being visible or grasped, and the external force acting on the end effector. Each estimator encodes a regularity, as do the interconnections that link them. Now we can trace gradients to achieve our goal, shown here in red. Opening the drawer by changing the kinematic joint's state to be as open as possible. Let's walk through an example for the trace gradient for this goal. To change the kinematic joint state, we first need to move the drawer. However, the drawer can't be moved unless it's grasped. To increase the likelihood of grasping, the system needs to reduce uncertainty over the distance between the end effector and the drawer. This is because the drawer's position is highly uncertain when relying only on RGB images. To resolve this, the system calculates a gradient that moves the end effector to triangulate the drawer's position generating the necessary actuation signal. Now, we visualize the network with the currently steepest gradient, where the robot's actions are shown on the right. First, we observe how the robot successfully triangulates the drawer's position while ensuring it remains visible. Next, the robot approaches, grasps, and finally opens the drawer. To test the system's robustness, we repeat the same experiment three times, introducing disturbances each time. In the first test, I attempt to confuse the robot by moving the drawer and providing incorrect force torque signals. The robot sees the moved drawer and thus adapts to complete the task. In the second test, I move the drawer while it is out of sight, causing the robot to grasp thin air. However, it quickly identifies the error and recovers, successfully completing the task. In the third test, I remove the drawer from the robot's grasp and shut it again. Once more, the robot adapts and opens the drawer, 